All right, here it is, fellas. The simple key install kit to reprogram the key fob. All right, so here is the simple key key fob that must be reprogrammed before you install it. And here is the easy control installer which you set in this case for this model you set the dial to three all right and you have to program the key fob first which here are the instructions all right so all right For this RAM model, it's 311 for the activation code and 3 for the dial. Simple key, easy controller, which you hook up on the OBD2 connection. Alright, guys, so I just got done reprogramming my original key. So that's a lock, unlock, and the remote start also works really good. All right. This is the new fob that came with the simple key. Now it comes with uh, another fob with the buttons. So this one doesn't have the remote start, but the other one does. But that one works, lock, unlock. And then the other key that I ordered on Amazon that they gave me two for about $30 without using the buttons, I was able to also reprogram that one. And as you can see, the remote start on this one actually works. So, pretty awesome install, right? And it's very simple to use, right? So basically what you do is you get the original key and, and you put it in the ignition and you start it, right? Then after you start it, you install the easy controller into the OBD2 right and then you'll hear a beep once you hear the beep it'll be it'll do three quick beeps and then you you turn off your truck and then after you turn off your truck then you grab the new fob and you put it in and you put you set it to on all right now in uh, different dial tones it'll tell you to set it just set the key in depending on which dial tone it tells you for mine it was uh, set to run and then once you set it to run in the ignition then You'll press the button and you'll hear a beep. Once you hear that beep, then you'll press it again. You'll hear another beep. Then you remove the key. You remove the easy controller from the OBD2. And then you put the new key back in and you turn it on. And you'll have a new reprogrammed key. All right. Too easy, right? All right, we're gonna we got one more key to to program. All right, and that's this one right here, my last key. All right, so we're gonna do a a quick tutorial on how to actually do it physically with this original key. 
All right, so now when you do this, you gotta make sure that when you're reading the instructions and you're doing it, you're doing it at a pretty quick pace because if you slow down and there's too much breaks in between, then uh, it's not gonna work, all right? And it says in the instructions, all right, so we're gonna turn it on. All right, now the truck is running. All right, now we're gonna install it in the OBD2. All right, you hear the beep, all right. And there's the three beeps, all right. Now we're gonna turn it off. All right, we're gonna put the new key in. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna set it to uh, run on on the on position. All right, and this is dialed to three. All right, and then we're gonna press that. You hear the click, beep beep, and then you press it again. There you go, three beeps. All right, now you remove the key fob. All right, just removed it. All right, now. You remove the OBD2. All right. Now we've removed it. All right. And now we test the key. All right. Test the key. And boom. There you go. A fun fully functioning key. All right. Now we're going to remove it. And we're going to test the lock. Unlock. All right, and remote start. Boom, and it's on. All right, remote start. Now we're gonna turn it off. Lock, unlock one more time. And that is it. Now we have four functioning reprogrammed keys. All right, I spent 30 bucks on these keys. And I spent a hundred dollars on the simple key. All right, a hundred and thirty dollars versus three hundred and change at the dealership for one key. All right, bam, that's the deal, right? All right, guys. So we just finished completing four sets of keys. Now, what I did miss is that this one right here. All right. So, the simple key that actually came in the box, all right, doesn't actually have the button for the remote start, all right. So now the key is programmed off of the original with the remote start. So now all I got to do is just replace the additional button pad that it has so that it I can give it that option. All right, so a lot of these keys, you can replace them with key fobs. Just as long as it has that chip inside, uh, the key will actually work. And to actually take them apart, all right, for the batteries, that's the simple part. All right, so a lot of these new keys won't have the actual RAM logo like that one but you're getting a, a new key so that's really the important part so as you can see this plastic and the buttons are all worn out all right you can even see the this fob old fob is all worn out see how it's all chipped now some people prefer the ram logo on their key fobs but in reality these keys which are new it's a lot better quality all right so it's a pretty simple install guys all right 130 dollars for four keys versus 300 and change for one key from the dealership that's a really good deal and it's a very, very simple install. All right, that's why it's 
that's why it's called simple key all right so let me know let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh like subscribe and uh, comment on my page all right thanks for watching my video guys